Good day everyone, I am Hazel and I will be the first to discuss our topic which is all about pop art. So what comes to your mind after hearing the word? It might of course attractive because of our imagined colors or characters we've mostly seen in comic books or magazines. And now please hear us tackle about this certain topic. So, pop art is one of the most significant art movement in 20th century. But what makes an artwork pop and who are the pop artists? Pop art is an art movement that emerged in United Kingdom and United States during the mid to late 1950s. The movement presented a challenge to traditions of fine arts by including imagery of popular and mass culture, such as advertising, comic books, and mundane mass-produced objects. Its aims is to use images of popular art and culture, emphasizing the banal and kitschy elements in any culture, most often through the use of irony. It is also associated with the artist's use of mechanical means of reproduction or rendering techniques. In a pop art, material is sometimes visually removed from its known context, isolated or combined with unrelated material. Now let's continue the discussion on pop art. I will discuss the famous artists on pop art. You might recognize some of its famous names like American artist Andy Warhol and Roy Lichtenstein. Pop art starts at Eduardo Paoluzzi at London. In 1952, a group of young avant-garde artists, writers, and architects, including Scottish artist Eduardo Paoluzzi, formed the independent group. The group wanted to challenge the art world and was interested in the relationship between popular culture and visual arts. Paoluzzi led the charge, giving an important presentation where he showed advertising, comic strips, and assorted graphic images from American magazines. Andy Warhol is an American painter, draftsman, filmmaker, and printmaker. Born on August 6, 1928, died on February 22, 1987 in New York City. Andy Warhol was the most successful and highly paid commercial illustrator in New York even before he began to make art distinct for galleries. Andy Warhol Progression of Art Campbell's Soup 1 By the 1960s, the New York art world was in a rut. The very original and popular canvases of the abstract expressionists of the 1940s and 50s had become cliche. Coca-Cola 3 this idea applies to the hand-painted portrait of Coca-Cola Battle, another challenge to the domination of abstract expressionism. Warhol's Coca-Cola is equal in size to many of popular canvases of that time, 6 feet by 5 feet, but is devoid of their abstractions. The New York artist Roy Lichtenstein was inspired by comic books and cartoons. His early works from 1960s includes screen prints of Mickey Mouse and Popeye. His source material from the painting In the Car during 1962 was an image from Girls' Romances, an anthology by DC Comics. These three people were the famous pop artists during mid to late 1950s. I am Hazel Making Yanola and my partner is Jill Marjorie Kim and this is the end of our discussion. <laughs>